Action! Too scary. Alright, party people. It's time for the Android God. I've been getting better. I played in the tournament and I think I finally have a good grip on how I can be able to teach you guys. Uh, this is going to be solely focused on 17 and 18 because there is a lot of nuances between the androids themselves. So we're going to hop right into this guide. If you guys want to see more, please leave a sub. I'm going to go over 13 next. I'm going to post more ranked matches for you guys so you guys can have like an analysis of like what I'm doing as I play the androids. So please leave a subscribe and we're going to get right into the guide. Because let's talk about the pros of playing the androids. Just so pros, um, you have, you know, meter regain, which is the biggest part of playing the androids. And because of your meter, your a key blast game is more insane. It's more prominent than other characters to use a lot of key blast. Um, you are some of the most aggressive characters in the game or oppressive characters in the game. Your main goal is flank an android is to keep them from getting meter while you always consistently gain meter, which is why there's some of the most aggressive or uh, annoying, like a nuisance characters in the game. Okay, cons. Let's talk about two of the biggest cons I feel like with the androids. Number one is you can't charge, right? Um, so let's say you're in a team battle, you take out, you finally take out the androbi, you have three skill points, you can charge the sparking and then go to the next guy. The androids can't charge the sparking and go to the next guy. So if you do take out like a yet like somebody and you want to try to use your meter wisely while you can't find them, this is where they struggle. Even when uh, you like you lose a character and then the android shows up and they're charging and you can't find them, you kind of can't charge back to like counteract the sparking. You kind of just gotta hold it unless you burn three skill skill points for it. So that's one of the bad things. Another bad thing is that they do not fight giants well and Broly. Broly kind of also dog on them a little easier than most characters because you can't key blast those characters well and when it comes to giants not a single android other than like meta cooler and 13 have an ultimate rush super like the, every every android has an ultimate rush super all of them so if you want to just try to like blow up great apes and stuff like that this is not that kind of character at all Dragon Ball Sparking Zero is a game where if you play a lower character, like a like an android, the slower sands and stuff, you need to have above average gameplay in order to catch up and compete with these characters. So if that's kind of something like something that you are interested in and you want to like try to do, then this is the guide for you. And we're gonna go straight into it with the rush attacks. We're gonna go straight into the guide. Thankfully. Um, 17 and 18's rush chance are actually very similar in terms of what they're what they do and you just kind of have to figure out as a player okay 18's gut punch is one 17's gut punch is also one but 18 spin is four and 17 spin is like three so you have to keep up with stuff like that little intricacies like that is really what makes the characters different but their damage output is exactly the same and their follow-ups are also exactly the same so if you can play 17 you can play 18 and vice versa like you can just switch these characters out whenever you want but fun fact the follow-ups are actually the exact same follow-ups for both of their gut punch and spin so you just go ahead and do the same button combination for whoever you're playing it doesn't matter Okay, so key blast, which is important for the androids. 17's key blast seems kind of standard. He shoots five in rotation. He can dash and shoot five. His charge shot flips, which is super important for the androids to get your charge shot. It's the, it's the same in the air. He has no special properties at all. 18, however, she shoots six shots per rotation, um, just as fast as 17. Like the rotation is off cooldown pretty fast. Um, her accuracy isn't as on par. And the interesting fact with 18 is if you jump and do her full charge she actually gets a destructo disc which is really odd um i don't know any other character that has something like this so let me know but you want to use it from a distance it's a destructo disc so it's unblockable it's really good to just kind of mix in because i don't know why she just randomly has a destructo disc just right just if you jump if you are in the air though it's become just a regular normal charge shot which is the knockback like 17s uh, which is really good for her. It's really, it's, these are really good still, but she does have a destructive disc. So, interesting little fact. Okay, on to blast. So, 17 has two, three bar blasts, unfortunately. Um, 
and the first one full power energy ball just doesn't really hit correctly it does do good damage and the startup is quick um it is two so it's easy to flash out of it sometimes the second one is just more consistent it's a little bit slower than 18 but it's more consistent like right here i'm gonna do it again and you see the first one just completely whiffed i don't know where the first one went and i'm gonna do it again right here the it just completely whiffed so if you want to do the first one make sure you have clear skies to make sure to ensure it hits but ultimately i recommend just doing the second one and it just seems to work better overall so my white i mean uh, 18 has two separate energy blasts as well infinity bullet infinite bullet is a decent super for two it's a good super for two bars now it doesn't really work right if you're on a horizontal plane so similarly to 17 see i'm gonna show you like a couple of times that you definitely want to try to hit them in the air and have clear skies when you do this so you make sure every bullet it hits it's an okay super for the price the second one is just overall better in my opinion this is the one i do a lot i recommend just doing it it works it just works more consistently to have to have clear skies i recommend doing this second super all right now quickly we go on to the next one and android barrier can talk about the skills and droid barrier listen to me if you're fighting like a level like a broly with a, if you're fighting anybody with unblockable superman just save your meter for android barrier because you can just straight up you're invincible like they can't hit you just straight up save it for android barrier you're gonna have a lot easier time trying to avoid these jurens and these brolies just trying to two tap you with their ultimate right you can just straight up barrier it they gotta find a different way to fight you like man listen just just save it for it i'm telling you save it okay so now i'm going to talk about what really separates the two honestly i feel like it's the skill um android 17 has finish line and finish line is just a temporary buff for your melee fireball and your super like your ultimate and that's pretty much all it does it's a temporary buff um 18 also has a temporary buff but 18's temporary buff not only buffs her the exact same amount as it buffs 17 but it also puts her in sparking for the exact same amount of skill points you see what i'm saying um they both cost three one gives you sparking one just gives you a temporary buff so now we're talking about the supers honestly the both the supers do the exact same thing it's not really that debatable 17 is cooler however it's hard to get into 17 super because you're going to be using your meter a lot more to try to like counter vegetos the after image strike meta when you're trying to counter after image strike with key blast you can't necessarily just go into sparking how 18 can 18 can like abuse them and then go into sparking and abuse them more 17 can't do that okay so the big question i get asked is who's the stronger android so in terms of raw damage they do the exact exact same amount of damage like your punches your key blasts aren't doing more damage if you're on 17 or 18. Or to be honest i already i did the calculations however if you're looking for a higher damage output potential 18 does have a higher damage output potential because her sparking because their skill goes into sparking so if you manage to go into sparking without her skill and then land your ultimate you can go straight into another sparking with her skill and then land another ultimate which increases her dps however if you're trying to play more of like a rat and zone out with key blast and then abuse android barrier 17 might be your way to go they both cost five points so honestly it just kind of depends on what you're looking for I don't really think either one of them is stronger in quotes than the other. I do think 18 has an easier time handling the meta. But the one character that has an easier time than both of them is Ranger 17. And he is actually kind of crazy. He does more base damage than both of them. And his rush chains are stronger because it just it's more deadly. Like his first rush chain is a spin, which is insane. The only can get out of spin is with super contacts right his follow-ups are the exact same as the other two so learning 18 you can play super 17 like 17 you, can play, you know you can learn it it's easy right they all do the same thing and remember to make sure to check how to do it with your current control scheme i don't know what you're playing on i don't know what you have it set to so just go into command list called rush chain action to see how to do it properly like i said i don't, I don't know what you're playing on
All right, so what's even crazier about Ranger 17 is that his key blast is actually better than both of his. Like, he does seven shots of rotation, same as, just as fast as uh, the rest of them, seven shots. His charge shot still flips, just like the rest of them, which is crazy. He doesn't have the strength of this, though. Like, I 18 has the strength of this. He doesn't have any of that. It's this generic, but it's still pretty insane. He gets seven versus them getting five and six. Okay, blast recommendations. Honestly, it's tough. Uh, the first one is like 18. It's really fast. It hits hard. It's a normal generic beam, but it's really good. It's really fast. And for the same amount of bars, he has the new electric strike thingy. I It's slower on startup, and I don't think it really just hits as hard. I think the scaling is a little bit better, but I don't really see it hitting very hard. And it's really slow to kind of just do in a combo if you don't like do gut punch or like sweep in the air specifically. Um, so I would recommend just doing the first one, but that's up to you. All right, and now here's a sad truth about Super Ranger 17. Sorry, unfortunately, he has another rush super, which is unfortunate, but however, you can actually end up doing more damage to yourself than to them. Like, he took 20,000 and he only did 17,000. Now, if you do his awakening skill, which is really good because it's like 18 new, it puts you into sparking, which makes this 8, 17 really good. It, it still can only do like maybe up to 19,000 damage. So, honestly, I kind of don't want to say this, but doing suicide super with 17 might not just be worth it across the board. Like, even when you like try to combo into it, it's still doesn't really just it still doesn't really scrape above 20k because of the scaling um i didn't do a big combo yeah but still it still doesn't seem to hit as hard as i think a suicide or damage something the damage super should so i don't know i'll let you guys decide maybe if you're gonna kill it doesn't really matter but in my opinion, I would use the 17 buff he gets, which is stronger than both of theirs combined, still cost 3 skill points, and then just play in sparking without doing a super. You can actually like do a, like, a combo and try to land 2 level 1s, and that'll do more damage than his super does. And I didn't even boost both of them, and it still did more damage, so I would recommend doing that. Almost forgot to mention his skill usage. Um, his skills are really good. Android Barrier still only costs two, like other 17. And his other skill goes into sparking, like how 18 does, and it's three. So he is the best of both worlds when it comes to that. And he does more damage. And he has four buffs instead of just three buffs, but it looks like a last shorter than the other two. So keep that in mind when you go into sparking with his buff. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for me. Um, I will be dropping some ranked analysis with Android later on this week. If you guys want to see that, I'm gonna be trying to drop the 13 guide and other Androids. I might not cover 19 and 20 because they're just kind of like cheesy a little bit, I'm gonna be honest. So it's kind of like self-explanatory how you to play those characters. But other than that, yeah, that's gonna be do it for this. Remember, you want to try to stay, use your fireballs to just like keep your distance. If you want to play, like, you know, kind of more safe and zone-ish and use android barrier and stuff like that but you can also use the q blast to kind of get in and mix up your get in timing and that's like a really strong way to do it that's how i play the androids for the most part so yeah i'm gonna be hosting more combat videos and like stuff like that so just keep just keep me following and i'll catch you guys next time i'll stay safe